What up? Coming to you live from HVNY Imports. In front of us, we have two, not one, but two red K trucks. And not only are they red, but they're also once upon a time on its glory days. These were actually two fire trucks, which is really crazy to think about. Like in a small little rural town in Japan, they were really bringing these out to put out fires. And I guess they go to some sort of emergencies. But like, it's just funny to look at a K truck like this and see that it had such an important job. So here we have two 1997 Daihatsu high jet fire trucks. This is the S110 model, so it's four wheel drive. Something really cool about these fire trucks is like 99% of the time, every time I ever see one, the interior is always flawless. It always has little to no kilometers. This has 6,514, which is probably like 2,000 miles. You can tell by the interior too, everything back here. Like, look how minty it looks. Comes with a flag too, which is kind of cool. No rips anywhere. Look at the plastic radio everything four wheel drive like i mentioned starts right up it's just so cool to like see it like this i just want one so i'm not an expert on jdm k truck mini trucks i wish my homie andy was here i was just on the phone with him he was telling me some information about these but i'll go over some of the quirks that i do know and some fun things and i feel like this car could still be utilized to make you money and still be a very fun vehicle like i can see way for the fame utilizing this and still going to like pop-up shops maybe if i have to hang like clothes from here stuff like that but let's go over all the quirks right now so first and foremost one of the biggest things is this pushes out I think if you have like a coffee company or maybe you're making food, it's cool that this goes back and forth. This can be like the register. You could utilize this to put maybe storage or something like that. And maybe if you're even cooking, you could put like hot dogs here, cook the hot dogs here. You'll have the buns and some other stuff over there. And then it locks back into place just like this. Put this pin. Boom, nice and secure. Next, we have this spotlight that still works car doesn't even need to be on that's super cool i'm assuming this is like maybe where the fire extinguisher went some hoses a bunch of stuff i would love to maybe buy this back like if you're an ex-firefighter it'd be cool to have this and like buy all the jdm stuff or maybe you can get like the american versions of everything but it's cool that it still has the pieces there which i think that you could probably just put a normal fire extinguisher here you could put something here and still make it work and still make this really cool like i'm not even joking right now i would 100 buy these trucks like i would love a fire truck i would love to put like black rims paint the bed tint it put way for the fame right there like how cool would this be even if for a couple months just to have this as your daily like this is way more attention than every single car here it doesn't matter if you have a k-van a beat a cappuccino a k-truck this is just like bruh what is this red little fire truck doing in america over here you have some open storage that goes down comes back up use the pin to lock it just like the other side then we can get into the back seats pull up your little door the door is now open get back here you have some more additional storage very nice also comes with seat belts which is super cool so if you and your homies actually do want to sit back here just pull this out drop that down come back here make sure you lock your door you got to close this door back up nice and safe now let me put my seatbelt on and I feel like I'm in a Mercedes. No different than any other car. I got a better view than most people, but come on. This is the flex. Like, imagine going to a car meet like this, and you and your homies, like, park like a block away. Let's be realistic. You're not going to drive all the way there. But you pull up like this. This is different. And two adults really can sit back here. Like, I'm comfortable. Like, I'm very comfortable. It has a cushion back here, too. I'm chilling. I'm telling you guys, when I get a fire truck soon, do not be surprised. That's pretty much it for back here. Got some additional storage. You got that bar you can hang things on. These you can hang things on. Pre-existing holes for the light bar and siren. Like I said, put way, put the fame up here. Roof doesn't have any rust, nothing crazy. Super clean, I mean, it has no miles. So what more do you expect? And this one even has less. This one I believe has like 5,200. The red pops even more. Put your logo right here, a nice way for the fame. Interior is just as clean. Yeah, this one has 5,742 kilometers. I was almost gonna say miles. Minty, minty, minty. Drives great too, I'll drive it in this video. Does feel a little heavier, obviously. Like, so normally on K-Trucks you do this and it's going all over the place, but this additional weight actually gives it more ground. Same storage back here. It's clean. It's cool. It's perfect. It's really just a perfect flex vehicle. I can't see myself owning this for like a year or two. I feel like after a while, 
I think it'll just get annoying to have a fire truck and people are always gonna throw you fire truck jokes over and over. But in the meantime, someone like me who only wants a car for a couple months, get the next one, do not be surprised if I get a fire truck. Here's a look under the hood. Look like you have new belts. Everything looks super clean. Radiator even looks nice and clean. Start this one up. I'll drive this one. They're basically exactly the same. Even the dash, like everything looks clean. Let me know in the comments what you guys would do with this. Would you transform it back into its firefighter roots? Buy a fire extinguisher, some hoses, some nice JDM goodies? Or would you turn it into like a store? I can see this being even a bigger money maker than your regular K-Truck. All right, let's drive this high jet real quick. Headline is probably the only issue, but that's nothing. Going to first. Visibility is, oh wow, it's non-existent. I didn't even think about that. You can't even see it out there. Good thing you have these two mirrors, but I'll drive it a little. Always loved high jets. I feel like they're one of the best like gearboxes and just driving trucks in general. Yeah, it doesn't feel any different. If anything, it feels like I'm in a very new truck. Clutch feels great, shifts feel great, car feels smooth. In two wheel drive, super peppy too. I drove this same truck when I was in Hawaii. I really want an S110. I definitely think one of my favorite parts about this car, honestly, is the red. Like the red interior too. It's almost like you have like red leather seats. Like looking everywhere and seeing red. Like I think silver K trucks are super cool. I think the blue ones are super cool. White ones are obviously the most basic one. But red, like if someone paints their mini truck, they're most likely not painting the inside, but everything is red. Like just look around, everything is red. If I had to find a flaw about this truck, I would definitely say it's visibility. Can't really see directly behind you, but I mean, you're in a fire truck. Not really gonna be in anyone's way and it has a chime if you can hear it no ac which i know i know some people definitely think is a flaw but to me ac really kills the power so much in these little trucks the hatsu high jet fire truck i know they make acti versions sandbar versions probably even mitsubishi before in this video let me know in the comments what do you guys think is it worth ninety five hundred dollars should you just buy a normal k truck and actually have a pickup truck actually utilize the bed or do you want to flex because what it comes down to buying this is a flex you're not going to be a fire truck you're not going to do any fire truck things but you want to be the only red k truck that people have ever seen you want to be the only mini truck that's also a fire truck and i'm sure you could buy a siren you could buy a light bar and you could bring this back into a k truck you could bring this back into a fire truck you could bring this back to its glory days where it used to put out fires on skylines and the mountains and stuff like that so let me know what do you guys think but i'm in this video here i'm about to make a couple more videos i definitely want to review this 1990 mitsubishi bravo with the glass roof you guys just know i sold my bravo i wouldn't get another one but this is cool i've never seen one of these before maybe drive this video one more time since everyone apparently wants me to buy it and a couple more videos in general while i'm still at hvny so catch you guys on the next one peace remember the name this is for the fame